Hello and welcome to my channel Nicola Yoga. My name is Nicola. I hope you are enjoying this gentle flow that we are doing recently for yoga on the bed. So today I am on my abdomen. We are going to bring the hands out, elbows underneath the shoulders, so setting up in sphinx pose. Nice and easy, easy breezy day. So, shoulders pull back and down, slight tuck in the chin, neck extends long, not dumping the head, engage the glutes, if you have issues with the lower back I really do encourage that, or you can relax the glutes if you have more flexibility in this area. So whatever works for you, you can even take the feet out wider if that feels more comfortable for you. And just rest in, maybe float the eyes closed. Or rest with your gaze two or three feet ahead. Breathing here. Five more breaths. From here we're going to take the left hand to the chin as you gaze over towards the left. We're going to take the right hand to the occiput and just gentle twist as you gaze over the left shoulder, breathing here. And release, coming back. Right hand to the chin, left hand to the back of the head, to the occiput, and just gazing over the right shoulder and breathe. Slowly, slowly float back. Take the hands out wider, press into the hands, push down, shoulders pull back, engage the glutes. Coming into seal pose and breathe. Slowly come back down to the elbows, press into the elbows. As you exhale, fold in, engage the glutes. Inhale, gaze forwards. Exhale, round in. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Slowly, slowly come back. Hands come underneath the shoulders, keeping the elbows tight to the rib cage. And exhale as you keep the knees together, hip distance apart. And then float sit bones down to the heels, reach the hands out in front, coming into child's pose. Forehead to the earth or chin to the earth and breathe. Inhale, gaze forward, slowly float the hands up, cross over the legs behind you and sit back on your heels as you bring the feet forwards. Now from here we're going to bring both feet together, bringing the hands to the ankles or linking the hands and bringing the baby finger about an inch back from the baby toe. Shoulders pull back and down, tuck in the chin, grow tall. So coming into Baddha Konasana or Cobbler Pose, breathing here, 
maybe gazing over the left shoulder. Turn to center, gaze over the right, and breathe. And slowly come back again, grow tall, shoulders pull back and down. slowly bring the hands forwards maybe if it's available to you bring coming down to the elbows so you're going to feel this in the lower back really good for the hips breathe tuck in the chin This really helps with grounding the lower two chakras, our sacral and root chakra. Lower back, hips, thighs. And then slowly, slowly, slowly come back up. We're going to take the feet out wide. Hands come behind the hips. We're just going to windshield wipe of the legs as we bring one knee in and then the other, releasing the stretch. And then take the legs out long, flex the feet. Hands come down by your sides, micro bend the knees, shoulders pull back and down, tuck in the chin, grow tall, dandasana. Breathe, seated staff pose. And then slowly bring the right foot in towards the left thigh. Inhale as you gaze, taking your gaze over your right knee, I'm going to reach the left hand towards the inside of the left foot, holding on to the arch. And then inhale as you bring the hand overhead, reaching towards the outside of the left foot. Micro bend the knee if you need and breathe. So a different shape in head to knee pose. So we're bending towards the side. So again, feeling the stretch in the lower back, right side of the waist, right shoulder, and breathe. Maybe after the next exhale, maybe going a little bit deeper. as you turn your gaze to your knee and then slowly come back up. Right leg comes out to a straddle, left heel comes in and we're going to repeat that on the other side. So inhale, take your gaze over your left knee as the hips start to face that way and then slowly bring the right hand down to the bridge of the foot shoulder pulls back and down and then in as you raise the left arm overhead and over towards the outside edge of the right foot this time micro bend the knee and breathe feeling the stretch in the left side body waist shoulder lower back maybe maybe on the next exhale fold in just a little bit deeper and breathe And 
now as you turn your gaze towards your knee and slowly sweep the hands up the leg. And we're just going to come momentarily into a tabletop. Again, bring the fists underneath your shoulders, knees underneath the hips. And then from here, we're going to inhale the right foot to the outside edge of the right hand, toe points out. Now take the left leg a little bit longer. So knee is stacked over the ankle, that's very important. Now you can stay here, keeping the left fist on the mat. Maybe bring the right hand to the inside of the knee, gentle pressure here as you gaze over the right shoulder. So feel that lovely opening in the crease of the hip. And breathe. Left quad, right hamstring. Opening the heart. And breathe. And slowly, slowly bring the right fist down. Bend into that left knee as you bring the right knee back and just dance out the hips. And then repeating on the other side. So ground into the fist, micro bend the elbows, taking that left foot to the outside edge of the hand toe points to a diagonal and again take the right leg back this time so you should feel that in the glute too and then from here you can either stay right here on the fist or bring the left hand to the inside of the knee open the heart and take the shoulder back gazing over the left shoulder this time and breathe keeping the right hand grounded So feeling that in the left crease of the hip, right quad and left hamstring. And slowly, slowly bring the right fist down. And slowly bend into the right knee, bring the left knee back. And again, dance out the hips. Dance out the shoulders. And breathe. And just slowly come back to seated. Nice, easy cross-legged position. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, sweep the hands forwards and come back down. Maybe as far as the elbows, but if you're not there, that is okay too. Breathe. Neck extends long, shoulders pull back and down. Slowly, slowly push back up, swap over heels and repeat on the other side, sweep the hands down, shoulders pull back and down, tuck in the chin and breathe. So again, you should feel this in the lower back, more so on the, on the side that your heel is in front of. And then slowly, slowly, slowly come back up. 
legs straighten out long. Micro bend the knees. Inhale, grow tall, reach the hands up. Exhale, fold the hands down towards the knees, the shins, the ankles, or the feet. Neck extends long, shoulder pulls back and down. Maybe spread out the toes. And breathe. So Paschimottanasana, seated forward fold. Excellent for insomnia when you can't sleep. And coming into the relaxation response. Maybe float the eyes closed. Breathe. Here, slowly, slowly, slowly come back up, hug the knees in, and roll down onto the spine. I'm going to take the legs up in the air, big toes together, maybe arms out to the sides, legs up the wall pose, or Viparita Karani. Pelvis is heavy, micro bend the knees, relaxing the feet the calves, the knees, the thighs, allowing the energy to come back to the hips, giving yourself a little mood boost here. And breathe. So this pose is particularly good for mood boost, depression, anxiety, and for those days when you simply can't get out of bed. Now you can stay here just for relaxation, or if you want an extra stretch in the hips, you can take the Legs up to straddle, maybe tuck in the chin, engage the core. Inhale, point the toes, come back up. Exhale, either head down or head up for extra core. Point the toes, come back up. Exhale, flex the feet, straddle. Inhale, point the toes, come back up maybe just three more or be wherever you are if that's enough stay right where you are with the toes together moving with breath grace and ease and then taking the legs out wide slowly slowly come into shavasana Get yourself comfortable, maybe having a pillow for your head. If you're settling down to sleep after a hard day. And breathe. Nice, long, deep inhale as you allow the body to release and let go, allowing your body to sink into your bed or surface beneath you, feeling supported. And a reminder, you have everything that you need. Maybe shake out the hips, release any tension. Exhale, let it all go, coming into stillness.
No, you can stay here in Shavasana. And if you're drifting off to sleep, I encourage that. If not, you can hug the knees in, roll over onto one side, and slowly come up to seated to seal off your practice. Grow tall, palms come together overhead and down through heart center. May you be healthy, happy and free. Namaste. Thank you everyone for sharing the beautiful energy today. I hope you enjoyed your class. Please let me know in the comments how it went for you. Hit the thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you again soon. Have a good day.